Happy holidays, adventurers, and welcome back to Fantasy Forge. I'm Cameron Holt, and today I'm going to be drawing a party of misfit adventuring toys from the land of Wasteros, an arctic garbage patch just south of the North Pole where the runoff from Santa's factory have brought the toys and trash to life alike. This is the character art that I'm making for our holiday one-shot over at Arcanorama. If you're interested in watching the one-shot yourself, you can catch it over on the Arcanorama YouTube channel, and there's a link down in the description to send you over there. And feel free to subscribe while you're there. We're just 45 away from being able to have our own YouTube URL so that I don't have to just list off a string of numbers and letters, and it would be very much appreciated. I am a little bit behind releasing this video. We had some holiday technical difficulties, but I hope you'll enjoy it all the same. With that said, let's go ahead and hop in. Up first is Slap, the Sticky Tumbler Barbarian. For Slap, we use the Unearthed Arcana Plasmoid race, and my brother-in-law Taylor, who plays the character, came up with some very creative reskins for his weapons, opting to use a safety pin in place of a club, wielded by the pointy end, and a 1995 penny instead of a shield. It's always a challenge for me personally trying to render shiny fluids or viscous oozes, but I think this one came out pretty good and I'm incredibly proud of this nearly photorealistic penny that I managed to pull off. Next is Juniper. Juniper is from an off-brand My Little Pony franchise known as Your Smallest Horse. She's from the special 1995 Krampus edition that for some reason just didn't sell. After being dumped, she found herself on the Arctic island of Wasteros, where she's now trying to escape. Unaware of where her magical power actually comes from, mechanically Juniper is a satyr cleric of Santa, but in reality, she's a grave cleric. She carries a birch pole, just like her Krampus namesake, to punish the bad children on Christmas. Working in tandem with Santa, of course. I don't get to do a lot of cutesy soft shapes, so this was a little outside of my realm, but I'm very proud with how it turned out.
Up next is Ambrose. This is the drawing that I was dreading the most. It's the first time that our stream director Robbie has played with us on stream, and he chose to play as a sentient barrel of monkeys named Ambrose Nerfjolk, which is an anagram for barrel of monkeys. This was the drawing that I was dreading the most, but I ended up actually having the most fun with it. It was a fun new challenge that I thought was going to be incredibly complex, and it was a little complicated, but once things got rolling, it kind of put me into a fugue state, and I really had a great time creating this piece. Oh, and I can't forget Ambrose's Arctic Fish Familiar, which is just an actual living fish. And we went with Bugbear for the race so he could have that extra reach, lengthening his chain of monkeys with each attack. Next up is Mila. Mila is a Runts doll, our universe's version of a Bratz doll. There was some user error at the factory and Mila's face was printed on just a little bit to the right. As such, she couldn't be sold and was disposed of in the ocean by a lazy company. That's how she found herself washing up on the boba beaches of Waisteros and starting her new life. After meeting a very flamboyant Ken doll on Waisteros who promised he could change and fix her face for her, Mila had her head dipped in acetone and the face fully removed. The process scarred her so much that her mind split awakening new abilities. Mechanically, Mila is a changeling aberrant mind sorcerer. Fair warning, if dolls creep you out, this next one might not be for you. Lastly is Maple. Maple is a doll that was crafted in the Victorian era and lived with a loving family. Sadly, one day a fire broke out in their home and the family was lost. Well, lost to the world. One of the few things that survived the fire was Maple, though a little singed and charred.
every room that Maple was placed in seemed to be cold. When people were around her, they would hear voices. Eventually it became too much for her new owners, who tossed her into the sea, the only way they could think to remove this curse from their lives. And so, Maple the Haunted Doll washed up on the boba beaches of Westeros as well, where she's lived for hundreds of years. One of the oldest toys on Westeros, it's a mystery to most why the child's love that keeps her alive hasn't worn off yet like it has the others. But Maple knows it's because she never lost the love of a child. Her child is still with her, even to this day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Once again, if you want to see these characters in action, follow the link in the description over to the Arcanorama YouTube channel, subscribe, watch the holiday one shot, and if you like it, maybe check out our regular campaign as well. It's a persistent campaign that's going on 14 episodes now. It's a great time full of lovely, talented people that are all very, very special to me. As always, a like, a subscription, and a comment are appreciated. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see all of you in the next video. But until then, stay safe out there, adventurers. Thank you.